Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So uh, friends, uh, as we had told you, we also we have also started a series in which uh, what we will be doing, we will be analyzing data uh, from various government sources, various NGOs or from various international organizations. So the purpose of this data analysis is not just to help uh, those students who are preparing for different exams, uh, that is grade, uh, grade A exams, but also to help uh, other people who are concerned with such issues uh, to get a single point uh, we can say information about a particular issue so uh, basically here uh, before starting let me tell you friends that here uh, we will we uh, incorporate or we uh, include in the, our explanation data only of those organizations only of those bodies that are independent and autonomous and any uh, NGO or for that matter international organization that has a malicious propaganda to spread uh, uh, any kind of fake things and uh, the, the data of such organizations is not uh, included in our uh, not included in our video so if in case you find that uh, the, uh, the kind of we can say genuineness of the data can be questioned you can simply contact us the con uh, contact details are mentioned in the description box so we will uh, uh, in fact we will uh, in uh, we will let you know that uh, what is the source of this data and uh, whether it is independent or not and if in case we find that uh, this uh, uh, data is by some uh, some uh, some organization to spread fake propaganda then suddenly we will be prompt to remove such video from our platform so let's start a discussion friends so today's this topic of discussion is tiger population that is emerging concerns so uh, this uh, friends uh, 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 in today's video so we will be discussing that uh, what are the emerging concerns in uh, in the context of saving tiger population so uh, let's start our discussion friends so uh, as the uh, series is about uh, your uh, data analysis so certainly we will be on incorporating uh, data from different uh, reports so there was a report uh, named tiger estimation report that was released in 2018 uh, which uh, calculated the total number of tigers in India so uh, according to its estimate 2967 tigers are there at present in all over India so highest uh, number of tigers are there in Madhya Pradesh and highest number of tigers in fact in a particular uh, uh, tiger reserve is uh, uh, is in Paints tiger reserve and that uh, that uh, tiger reserve is also in Madhya Pradesh so uh, this basically all over India uh, 2967 tigers are there so if we see the trend then this tiger estimation report it found that uh, in 2006 it was found that 1411 tigers were there and then they improved to 1706 in 2010 and uh, here uh, it is a mistake not 226 but uh, 2226 in 2014 and uh, the number of tigers were 2967 in 2018 so clearly this shows an increasing trend so this is a, a good thing um, uh, if we observe that uh, we we uh, in under your uh, Peter Bug summit the summit that helped uh, uh, that had that was held in 2010 uh, so in this summit the tiger range countries but uh, they they said that, that they will strive to double the tiger population by 2022 so we are already nearing that uh, target so slowly we are improving uh, ourselves so uh, but uh, here uh, there is also a concern that is emerging so what is that concern so obviously purpose of that uh, this video is also to uh, to see the concerns associated with the, the tiger population conservation so uh, uh, recently a third international stock taking conference on tiger conservation was held in new delhi and this was organized by national tiger conservation authority and uh, you have this uh, global tiger tiger initiative council so with active collaboration uh, of this global tiger uh, uh, initiative council so this uh, what was the uh, pur uh, purpose of third international stock taking conference the purpose of this was to uh, uh, focus upon the tiger conservation the methods that are followed 
load and uh, what are the uh, loopholes and uh, how the how the different methods are faring so experts uh, in this conference have uh, observed that uh, india's capacity to host tiger population is of uh, 2500 to 3000 so uh, uh, in this conference the experts held that india can accommodate maximum from uh, 2500 to 3000 uh, tigers if we see the current uh, protected areas or reserve areas for the tiger population conservation so as of now we have more than five, uh, 50 uh, tiger reserves or protected areas uh, that uh, that have uh, shown an increase uh, after uh, after the launch of the project tiger in 1973 so now but the concern is that already we are at number 2967 so uh, this uh, conference found that already 25 to 30 percent of the tiger population is already residing out of the protected reserves so uh, note then uh, now the tigers are not just limited to protected reserves uh, where there is a uh, minimum human uh, inter uh, intervention but also uh, their population is increasing and it is it, it will obviously uh, 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 expand to other areas because of the territorial uh, 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 this territorial uh, uh, trait of uh, the tigers that is they maintain a territory of their own and they also in fact need a prey base so to support their population so in that context obviously uh, then uh, if for example uh, uh, in a particular protected area the number of tigers are increasing then the competition will increase and obviously due to the habit of maintaining territory uh, the other tigers will be forced to move out of that particular territory so in this context uh, there is very high possibility that in future the human animal conflicts uh, may increase to a large number so as the tiger uh, as the number of tigers go up gradually so this is also a concern so uh, before proceeding let me tell you friends so uh, you can observe by this point and uh, that every uh, every single f every single thing or fact has both has two sides that is both uh, positive as well as negative so though uh, positive is that yes we must increase the population but the negative is that the human animal in conflict will increase so but now uh, we can't say that okay humans are uh, uh, are in danger we should reduce the tiger number obviously uh, if if uh, um, the, this this uh, pressure on the animals is there or if the if in any case human animal conflict is happening that is due to basically that uh, the expanding population of uh, the human beings as well as the uh, the growing demand of the uh, the, uh, the uh, humankind on nature so due to which the depletion of forest resources has taken place and also the depletion of other natural resources has taken place so now what are the other concerns in conservation so obviously uh, the major concerns uh, you might be aware of these but let, let us highlight here that uh, one of the major concern is the habitat loss so there is a habitat loss that is happening so this is basically happening due to change in land use so because uh, 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 obviously the the current uh, the the hitherto the land that was earlier available as forest land it is now being converted into agricultural land and when it is converted into agricultural land then obviously the habitat uh, of the uh, the tiger is lost and not just of tiger the prey base which uh, on which uh, it uh, uh, the tiger uh, depends upon uh, the the uh, the habitat of that uh, particular species is also lost so this is happening because of expansion in agriculture or, or or by the expansion of developmental programs so in this context india has one of the lowest per capita forest areas so other thing is climate change so uh, uh, but uh, what is climate change you, uh, so you all are aware that uh, uh, climate change is basically uh, the intervention uh, or change in the weather conditions of the or the climatic conditions of the earth due to the human intervention so uh, climate change is happening because greenhouse gas emissions are taking place and uh, if uh, also a UN report observed that if, uh, if uh, the, the current level of uh, uh, emission of uh, uh, gases uh, uh, continued a uh, greenhouse gases emission continued uh, at the current rate then obviously by 2040 uh, the the uh, year 20 by 2040 the global temperature will rise by 1.4 degrees Celsius 
Celsius um, uh, above pre-industrial levels. So in this context, obviously, the, when the temperature will increase, obviously, uh, 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 the glaciers will melt and the sea level rise will take place. So in this context, uh, recently, UN observed, report observed that climate change is happening and uh, the uh, uh, Royal Bengal Tigers that are, uh, that are, the, uh, uh, that are basically uh, who, who, the habitat of uh, uh, whom are in in uh, this in the Sundarbans, so uh, they they may not be able to survive this climate change because it observed that already 70% of the Sundarbans uh, are just a few inches or few feet above uh, the sea level. So if the sea level is to rise, then obviously Sundarbans will be wiped out. So Sundar Sundarbans provide uh, one of the uh, last remaining habitats habitats for these tigers, that is Royal Bengal tigers. So obviously if Sundarbans are lost, then uh, where where these tigers will go or uh, or where the species on which they depend they will go so certainly uh, the, they will migrate or they will uh, they will have to they will experience stress and they will ultimately they will be wiped out so uh, in fact uh, in 2010 worldwide uh, fund for nature uh, observed that uh, with the 11 inches increase in sea level the royal bengal tiger ti uh, royal bengal tiger population may go down uh, to nine uh, by 96 percent uh, in within few decades so this is a major concern so climate change is happening so other thing is the poaching so poaching is taking place of the tiger as well as of the species on which the tiger is dependent upon so poaching is taking place for the illegal market that is there for the tigers their uh, their body parts and the derivatives that are derived uh, from their body parts so poaching is taking place and that uh, this uh, this tr illegal trading is uh, taking smuggling is take taking place at the international level so it is not uh, limited to national boundaries so also then other thing is dwindling food uh, food and prey base due to habitat loss poaching and climate change so all the things that is habitat loss poaching and climate change that are affecting tigers they are also affecting the population of uh, uh, you are, uh, the of the of the of the species uh, uh, on which the tigers are dependent for their food so then uh, other thing is the increasing human animal conflict so basically land uh, the, uh, if uh, if the habitat loss is taking place if the land use is uh, uh, land use change is taking place humans are encroaching upon uh, the uh, the hitherto untouched lands uh, that were that were under earlier uh, uh, for us then certainly human animal conflict will increase uh, so obviously uh, human beings have a tendency to kill animals so obviously animals when they are panicked they kill human beings so it is a double edged sword so uh, these are the concerns and challenges now question arises that what can be done so what what should be our way forward so simply thing is that uh, we must focus on increasing the prey brace in the current context if we observe in the indian context then obviously uh, we are doing good in improving the population so also uh, this global tiger recovery program that uh, that was launched in 2010 in uh, in peterburg summit that was held um, uh, 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 among the, the, the con uh, this this summit was basically among the 13 range countries in which a global uh, uh, tiger recovery program was launched and here the slogan popular slogan of doubling the tiger population by 2022 was adopted that is that is 2022 was adopted so in this context uh, uh, now india is doing good but now what must what 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 must be done uh, as already 25 to 30 percent of the tiger population are residing out of the unprotected areas so in that context we must focus upon changing our strategies that is increasing prey brace in the in in non-protected areas and uh, developing safe corridors uh, so that the tigers that are access that are an access that are uh, 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 are are uh, that are access uh, uh, that that uh, in fact they are. <laughs> I'm getting confused. If uh, the tigers are more in number in a particular protected area, so the, uh, so uh, what will what will the safe corridors will do? They, it will these safe corridors will help uh, these tigers to move to these non-protected areas, which can later be declared as protected areas. So otherwise, human animal conflict is bound to happen. So human animal conflict because ultimately the population some at least uh, uh, somewhere the popul increased population has to go because every species has to survive, and obviously it depends. Uh, every species depends upon the nature. To survive so obviously tigers will also be dependent upon the nature so in that context human animal conflict is bound to happen and also other thing is that implement global tiger recovery program so what is this global tiger recovery program as i have told you that it was launched in 2010 and uh, it is a recovery program that is that spans 13 tiger range countries so uh, what what is its approach so uh, it must be implemented in letter and spirit because it has very important approach that is uh, approach is effectively managing preserving and protecting and enhancing tiger 
tiger habitats so uh, uh, tiger habitats must be managed protected preserved and then also uh, eradication of poaching must take place smuggling uh, uh, that is that is there and the illegal trade in the tigers in their body parts and their derivatives it must be eliminated and also uh, not just uh, uh, with, uh, uh, landscape management must not be must not happen between just national boundaries but there must be trans boundary uh, uh, trans uh, transnational uh, landscape management by the co active cooperation of the uh, range countries and also uh, they, this cooperation must extend to combating illegal trade and also then there must also be focus uh, on upon increasing the effectiveness of tiger and habitat management so uh, current practices for example uh, for better monitoring uh, national tiger conservation authority uh, 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 kind of launched a tool that is m stripes that helps the forest guards to, um, uh, to to monitor the tiger population in a mobile way so that such kind of effectiveness must be incorporated in the tiger and habitat manage management and then there must be also effort at restoring tigers to their former range and to protect safe corridors and other all these things so that uh, the population can be conserved and also human animal conflict can be minimized so in this context uh, there must also be active involvement of the local communities or the indigenous people because they have the uh, they have lived with with such animals uh, from time immemorial so they know how to how they know about the behavior of such animals they know how to deal with them so uh, such kind of approaches the lo uh, the the usage of local knowledge that must be promoted so that uh, uh, this situation can be created uh, uh, that win win situation can be created for all that uh, that depend upon this nature so friends, uh, ultimately what we can say is that uh, Robert Swan, that is the, the first person who uh, who has walked to both the poles of the earth, he said that uh, the greatest threat to our environment is the belief that someone else will save it. So you must, uh, what you should do, you must uh, focus upon the efforts that you on your, uh, your part can adopt. So uh, this is also similar to the Mahatma Gandhi's quote uh, which was earlier uh, quoted by me in uh, my earlier uh, video that is be the change you want to see in others. So in this context uh, you must focus upon yourself and also must uh, do your part so that you can uh, make people aware, make, uh, make uh, society aware about, uh, about nature. So for more such information, you can visit our website that is www.achieveias.co.in. So this is all about friends. Today's video, do ensure that you like it, share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. So thank you. Have a very nice day ahead.